Well, I've just finished one of the two vlogs that should have been posted about two days ago. I have been on a very huge lazy streak since I've gotten back from West Palm Beach, but now I'm feeling... Now I'm feeling ready to, to work, to get to business, to do some fishing, to hopefully fix my brightness because it's all... I'm going fishing today, folks. I have not done a pond hopping excursion for quite some time, and I love fishing ponds. It's it's what it's what this channel has has been, will always be, um, and it's just who I am as an angler. I've never really owned a boat, so most of the fishing I do is from the bank. So, with that being said, I'm going fishing. At the first location right now, this is a small lake that I really only fish once with uh, a buddy of mine. I'm, I'm all over the place, I'm scatterbrained. I just uploaded a video, it didn't really work out, whatever. But I'm here just to kind of unwind, relax, and hopefully get bit. Come on, where are they at? Where are they at? Trying to get bait here, son. Trying to get a quick sniff, a little peck, a little nibble. They just ain't cooperating right now, folks. I can't get them to bite. Although I'm probably fishing like a knucklehead right now, casting five feet from the freaking bank. Probably not the best way to be fishing right now, especially in summertime. But I am stubborn, and I really want to catch one this way. Because I feel like some could be right up on that rock there. Well, so far, uh, so far, Mission Fish New Lake is not going too well. I can't seem to find them, folks. I got one, and I mean one decent bite that I, of course, did not capitalize on. I just can't get them to bite. Doesn't mean they're not here, doesn't mean they're not hungry. I personally just can't get them to bite. So I'm gonna roll on out of here, find a different spot. I'm sure this audio is just so freaking good with this giant waterfall in the background. Anyway, I got one other spot I wanna try, and then we'll see from there. I don't know, I gotta also run some errands today. I've always got errands to run. I've always got dumb little errands to run. Okay, let's roll on out. I don't think you guys can fully appreciate how absolutely beautiful this trunk is. Right now I'm just throwing a little square bill crankbait around this current. I'm seeing a ton of bait fish over here, which is a really good sign. Just saw someone catch a little smallmouth too, which is even a better sign. Oh wow, look at all that bait right there. Bunch of bait in this current. It's pretty, uh, pretty promising. I don't know, I really hope I catch one here, folks. Oh, there's one. Small. Look at that. <laughs> Broke off on the only crankbait I brought over, so I gotta go back to the car to get another crankbait. Um, I did catch a smallmouth. I felt kind of funny about talking about it. There's a bunch of people around. There's a dude who just pulled up next to me, and I thought it'd be kind of weird to just like sit there and talk to a talk to a GoPro. Wow, that water looks so good. Anyway, I thought it'd be weird to talk to a GoPro over like a tiny little smallmouth, um, but it was a smallmouth. That's kind of what I'm after. Just wasn't necessarily the right size. So I'm gonna actually tie on another crankbait, keep at it. I don't know. This spot's super pressured, so I mean, <laughs> it's pretty difficult to to get a decent cast on. You got kind of one lane as to where you can throw your bait, but uh, definitely is a popular spot. That's for sure. All right, I'm gonna retie. I cannot believe how much bait is over here. Like there's so 
many shad shiners. I just gotta believe there's, there's some decent fish over here. Oh, look at that. What the heck? That's a trophy little uh, white bass there, folks. That's what we're after. I did it. I can now go home, give AP Bass in my channel, sell all my fishing stuff. This is, this is essentially my life goal. What an absolute tank. Look at that brute. Man, that feels good. Caught the world's smallest white bass and smallmouth in one day, folks. I don't think it can get any better than that. Oh, look at him. Look at that majestic. Oh, look at that. Oh, so majestic. There he goes. Oh my gosh, beautiful. You know, folks, it's all about the release. It's all about the release. Yeah, he's dead. I guess that's what fishing's all about, though. The trial and error, and sometimes you catch giant smallmouth and giant barracuda. Other times you catch micro fish that uh, will look great in your fish tank. Still had fun. Any day out in the water's a good day. Oh man, that was interesting. First time I ever fished here. Probably gonna come back. Um, just not anytime soon. Only because of this experience. Uh, we're gonna do some Q and A's today. Q and A's are awesome. I love them because it gives some of you guys out there a chance to ask me questions that I wouldn't normally answer in the comment section below and it allows me to get more in depth about it. Anyway, I uh, just shot out a, an Instagram story, which by the way, I'm loving, and I asked the majority of you guys out there on Instagram to ask me some questions, random stuff, whatever it may be. Mason Helm asks, would you rather live in the South or the North? I actually have been thinking about this recently. Ideally, in a perfect world, I'd like a small house in the North, a small house in the South, and then just kind of bounce around depending on which season it is. That, and a perfect world is what I want. If I had to choose one, I'd probably choose the North one because that's where I've lived the majority of my life. It just gets way too hot, way too hot for me in the summertime in the South. That's just my personal opinion though. Uh, what's my dream job? To be truthful, this is my dream job. I'm kind of living it right now. I've been very fortunate for the past couple of months to be living my dream job. Hopefully I'm able to continue to live my dream job. Um, really, I've just as a kid always wanted to work in the fishing industry and film and do something with videos. Uh, and that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm able to make a living off of it. Uh, <laughs> someone asked, who was your last girlfriend? Uh, it's been a while. Maybe maybe a year, year and a half. I don't know. Wow, it's been it's been quite some time. I travel so much, I don't see me even having a girlfriend, to be truthful. Okay, wait, why are we talking about this? Hold on. What's your favorite fishing moment you've ever experienced? This is kind of boring, but I really like that Barracuda experience. That was, that was sick. Oh, I got him. Oh! I got oh my him. God. I got him. It's a big one. Oh my God. It's a big one. That was so amazing. I'll never forget that. Um, I've always wanted to catch a barracuda as a kid. I know I said it a thousand times in that video. Just the fact that I've got like a chrome cuda statue in my room should emphasize the fact that I absolutely love those fish even more. Uh, they're so crazy. Whew, this is a good one. Wow, we're getting deep here, folks. Travis Kulmo underscore 12, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, asked, What's your biggest life lesson that you have learned? Never stop doing what you love. Never stop doing what you have started. I'm a big believer in just kind of keep going to something, finish it out. And I'm a huge hypocrite in that sense. There's been a lot of times where I've quit midway, quarter of the way, or just when I get started. And I try to resonate that at the end of each video. I keep, I say, keep fishing, never stop. That's just kind of like a, like a, a reminder to myself and maybe to you guys out there to continue to do what I love, no matter what. Um, yeah, I guess just, just never stop doing what you, what you've always done, what you've always enjoyed as a kid, like since you were little, since like you started loving things, having a hobby. So that's my life lesson is never stop doing what you, what you are meant to do, what you are meant to do. Okay. I always have something sentimental in these videos. There, there it is. Nailed it. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Broke my phone. What else we got here? <laughs> have I ever cast a spook into the sunset? I have cast many spooks into the sunset, but never as bad as AP Bassin. Oh, I like this question. Mono or fluoro for jigs? Fluoro, 100%. Why don't you grow out the soul patch? I'm kind of working on it there. It's pretty freaking disgusting, but um, yeah, I'm probably gonna cut it off tomorrow. Thanks for reminding me. Whoa, I got lit up with the questions. Look at all these questions. Bang, bang. You guys can't even see because it's so, there we go. 
Oh, this table's a mess. Uh, do you have any other hobbies? Nope. Getting back to the, uh, again, I don't know why this showed up again, but have you ever had a girlfriend? Yes, I've had a girlfriend, just not at this point in time. I mean, come on, folks, can't you understand? I'm doing a lot of traveling, man, I'm busy. Or at least I'm pretending to be busy. Uh, for the upcoming fall season, what is the best bait to use, the best technique to catch bass? Personally, I like moving baits. Spinner baits, double leaf spinner baits. I like lipless crank baits. I love lipless crank baits. Um, can't go wrong with a swim jig, especially when that grass starts to kind of reside, reside, recede. What am I, what's the word I'm looking for? And like on the other spectrum of things, you can't go wrong with a drop shot. Do you have your own house? No, I'm currently living with my parents. I just dropped out of college this year, but my next plan is to save up for a house. I'm doing a pretty good job as of right now. You got a girlfriend, any interest in, in a girlfriend? Like what? What sparked this? What triggered this? Is it because it's like, what is it, Monday night? What is going on here, folks? I don't know, something is wrong. Something is very wrong here. How was high school? Did you party? Were you quiet? Did you get good grades? High school was okay. I was a complete idiot though. Did I party? I guess maybe who doesn't? Were you quiet? I was in the beginning, but not at the end. Did you get good grades? No, I'm absolutely horrendous at school. I am so bad at school, it's not even funny. Uh, if you could pick one guy in the world that you could fish with for the rest of your life, who would it be? To be 100% honest, I really like fishing alone. It's like peaceful. It, it allows me to kind of chill and think to myself. But if if I had to choose, like if you're going to make me choose and twist my arm, I don't know why, but Bob Azumi? Why is that coming up in my head? I don't really even know who Bob Azumi is. I don't know him well enough to want to fish with him, but that for some reason is the only name that's popping in my head right now. So Bob Azumi, that's who I'd probably fish with. Don't know how he is as an angler, but hey, I'd fish with him for the rest of my life. So Lorraine Christine asks, favorite place to fish when visiting Cali? I don't know, I've really wanted to do some calico fishing. I've really wanted to fish the Delta. Clear Lake has been on my radar for quite some time. To be 100% honest, I'd probably have to pick the Delta because as a kid, that just, that place fascinated me so much. So that's probably where I would pick in California. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today, guys. I'm sorry today's vlog was, um, was was below average. Thank you guys for being there. Even when the vlogs suck, even when I don't catch big fish, even when I struggle to pump out a video. You guys are the best. You guys are the awesome. You guys are the awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you all for the support. As always, keep fishing, never stop. Comment below if you think AP Bachelor should drop out of college.